All right, it's grinder time. <clears throat> Why did I buy another Milwaukee model number? Two nine eight zero dash twenty. All right, this is the M eighteen Milwaukee grinder, and I only got this because it can take a six inch blade, and I like the uh, the guard. Very easy to adjust. And it also got the XC 8.0, which came with the Weed Whacker, the Milwaukee Weed Whacker. And it's the fuel brushless and uh, it works very well. So I'm going to cut these bolts off right here. This trailer was uh, burnt to the crisp and I'm rebuilding it. And it's uh, been an interesting project. So I would have bought Rigid because Ridget does have a better warranty on their stuff. However, Ridget does not have a angle grinder that will go from four and a half, five to a six. That's why I got it. And it was um, very desirable because I always need a grinder that is cordless and bigger blades bigger jobs and it's you're able to get those angles you're able to get those bolts that are hard to get the four and a half is good for small projects but when you're trying to get you know past a certain point and not taking the guard off or just getting past the part with the guard on so you have a lot more blade to get in to cut whatever you're cutting plus you get a bigger motor and this will die out if i push it too hard so that that is one of the uh problems with battery powered grinders the batteries burn out very quickly they use them up like uh, a thirsty dog drinking water it's just you go through batteries like crazy that's why i got the weed whacker that has a rapid charger and a big battery so i can use on grinders and uh, other uh, battery power tools that just sucks batteries like crazy so i'm just going to take this off so right now I got three bars, okay? So I got three bars. We're gonna see how fast we can use this juice in this battery and then go from there. Let me see here. Yeah, it's not cutting much as you used to. This blade uh, is a little worn out. I'm starting to notice that. It's probably time for me to change the blade. So it stopped. I guess it overheated. I got two bars now. If you had a plasma cutter, I think that's the way I would go. I would just get a plasma cutter. I wouldn't waste my time with this.
that. Just so annoying, that thing. Alright. Time for you to meet the pants, though. Oh, don't tell me. Battery's dead. Oh, my grinder's overheated. So that's it. This battery is overheated. XC 8.0. Grinders do that. Every grinder does that. There's no brand that does not overheat. From Makita to Rigid to Ryobi, DeWalt, they all do it. Grinders suck the most juice. Just change your battery and get over it, will you? battery would do better with a fresh blade this uh small xc 5.0 used to be my big battery now it's the baby and the grinder's just eating it up It. Oh, I got two bars left. And you push these batteries too hard, they just uh, they lag out. I think I'm gonna throw this uh, this blade out because I've used metal blades to the point where they'll break. Once one of these blades break off, it'll take your finger off. So they start flying everywhere. If they don't hit your face, they hit your finger. So you don't want to push these blades too far because they will crack right there when they get dull. When you push them too hard, I was cutting cast iron and it just cracked it, it hit me in the finger and I, I thought I cracked my finger or cut a finger off, it felt pretty bad. This sucker does not want to turn back on. Oh, overheated another battery. All right, let me go get another one. All right, so now I got an older high demand 9.0. All right, the other batteries are not uh, empty, they're just overheated, so that's the problem with the, uh, if you're in the field, you don't have a generator, you're going to have to have a lot of batteries, so it's always good to have a small generator with the electric plug-in grinder if you need some real heavy duty work. I think I have another blade, so I think if you do this with a, a brand new blade or almost new blade, it would uh, not overheat the batteries, because this is not uh, cutting this steel like the first couple of days.
one's hot. There we go, finally. This thing was the biggest eyesore known to man. So tired of looking at that stupid. So tired of looking at that stupid broken metal. See if this is gonna screw here. This is not the right wire, but blade so this is gonna get changed out before it cracks and hits me where I don't want to get hit so as you can see it's not a bad grinder it's not a bad grinder so it's not overbearing like some of the Makitas and the DeWalt's they get really really big so you can see the uh, size comparison See the size of it. And that's it. Get a lot of batteries and some uh, new blades.